So hey, what's going on, fiends? I'm normally not one to rant and rave and scream and act like an idiot on a microphone and do all that stuff, though there's some YouTubers I really enjoy that do that kind of thing. It, it makes me giggle a little bit. It, it really does. But that's just not me. Um, plus, I don't think my vocal cords could really take that shit. But um, I want to talk about the state of a franchise that I love that so many of you out there in the internet world love. Scream. We all love the movies. We all have our favorite, and we all have our least favorite in the series, but we can all agree that we love all the movies. But my biggest worry is, is this studio, Spyglass Entertainment, is still trying to push to get Scream 7 out fine but here's my own personal opinion on it i don't want them to make it i do not want scream 7 i don't and the reason i don't is because if you sit down and think about it calm down before you go write me a bunch of hate comments down there in the comment section just just calm down woosa woosa be okay what's the movie going to be about what's the plot what's what is it going to be? Because, yeah, you could get Nev Campbell back after you pretty much told her that she wasn't worth the money that she was wanting, considering she is the original Scream Queen of the series. Uh, but now you're begging her back, and she's being nice, as most Canadians are super nice. Shout out Steve Merlo, my buddy, out there in Canada. But, um, if it was me and they called me while Spyglass is still running the show for, uh, the Scream franchise, I'd tell them to go, uh, eat shit, fuck off, piss off. No. If I wanted to be nice, just no. And I just don't want them to put out a discombobulated bullshit movie where they took something that has already been done a thousand times over and use it as the plot for it just to get it out there to make a buck so they can keep milking that cow, that cash cow, if you will. Because let's be fair here and let's be really real. Five in 2022 killed at the box office. Six equally killed at the box office. So seven would do just as well, regardless if they put a 30 minute movie on the screen of somebody in a ghost face costume taking a shit. People would buy tickets to probably see it. Me, I'm kind of sick that way. I'd probably go see it too and probably laugh at it, but that's beside the point. But um, there's also been some reports well, not really reports, more or less. I've seen some videos on YouTube, uh, especially on one of my favorite channels, uh, Beyond the Mask, which is a YouTube channel that is strictly scream and scream only. And I love the channel. And he does such a fantastic job when he explains the lore, the movies and the backstories to all the characters. Such a fantastic channel. Um, but he um, did a video today and I haven't watched it yet, but the title for his video basically said Melissa Barrera may be coming back for Scream 7. And I sat there and I was like, hmm, okay. Well, if that's the case, then why the fuck did you fire her in the first place? And just like Nev Campbell, if I was her, I'd tell you to piss off. And then Jenna Ortega, another one of the co-leads of five and six, they wanted to underpay her just like they did with Nev Campbell, but yet she had scheduling conflicts as to why she couldn't be in the films. Bullshit, bullshit, I call bullshit. There was no scheduling conflicts. That was just PR bullshit speak, just so you didn't come out of it looking like a bunch of assholes. At the end of the day, I love Scream. I love those movies with a passion. I hold them very dear 
right here in my chest, my little, my little teeny tiny Grinch heart. But I don't want them to be bastardized as so many of my beloved horror franchises have been. Friday the 13th ran into the ground. Nightmare on Elm Street ran into the ground. Child's Play, though, has kind of made a little bit of a comeback with the Chucky series, thank God, but therefore a bit, it was ran into the ground. These studios, they know they're going to make bank off of them, so they'll just throw whatever up on the screen, and they know because we have such an affinity and such a love for it, that we're going to pay that ticket to go see it. And God knows I wish we could just resist and just be like, no, we refuse to watch your fucking movie because it is shit and you are shit. But we're a consumer society and therefore we will never do that. I.e. those crappy Star Wars movies. But that's another video for another time. But... Spyglass's back is very much against the wall right now because they lost their director. They've lost pretty much all the uh, actors. Um, Core 4 is pretty much no more. I know that rhymed. Uh, so what? I tell you what. I want it to crash and burn right into the front door of their fucking studio. And then... And only then, I want another studio to come in. Now, mind you, a studio that respects us fans, that loves us fans, and also loves that series, and is going to take that franchise and hold it, and love it, and cherish it, and not look at it as some kind of fucking cash grab. But who would that be? Who would that be? There's plenty of indie filmmakers out there and uh, maybe some indie studios that I could see that I know, but though they don't have the financial backing, and that's the big thing. It all comes down to that piece of fucking green paper. But I know so many people out there that would take this, take that ball and just run with it. But, you know... They'll probably just make it, put it out. It'll be a steaming pile of shit at the end of the day. And we'll be left, as so many times before, as just a disgruntled and disappointed fan base. I am just so sick and tired to my very core of all these beloved horror franchises that I grew up with and that I have now fallen in love with now even in my 40s been taken and just abused just so just so some sleazy asshole in Hollywood can make his money and then I feel bad for the actors actresses and all that all the crew members that bust their ass to make those movies getting shortchanged I hope there's Someday is a changing of the guard in Hollywood. I really, really do. It may never come in my lifetime, but I hope from wherever I am in the void, if I have long passed, that I can look down and see some little kid just like I was way back in the 80s, walking around with a, well, probably wouldn't be a magazine because we'll probably have some kind of projector shit embedded in our arm, but either way, experiencing all this stuff and I'm pointing out to all these movie posters and shit I've got on my wall that you all can't see like American Werewolf in London, the Heart Hammer Horror Series, Sleepaway Camp, Hellraiser Halloween Child's Play Aliens, Predator Lost Boys, I could just fucking go on and I'm probably not making much sense and I'm probably rambling on, but damn it, I'm just sick and tired of being sick and tired. It all started 
six years ago with that shitty Halloween movie that led into another shitty Halloween movie that ended into a bigger shitty Halloween movie. And then we got Scream 5 and 6, and I like those movies. I, I To an extent, though they're not perfect, they're far from it. I cared about those characters. I care about Sam and Tara, and I thought it was fucking cool that the main character is actually the daughter of Billy Loomis. What a cool thing. It was new, fresh, hip. But we can't have nice things. We have to get something and get greedy and destroy it. Ain't that right, Spyglass? Well, I've rambled on long enough and ranted long enough, guys. I hope to God I made some kind of coherent sense out of this. But I'm just fed up of being fed up. But anyway, it's been your old buddy, John. I'll see you again next time. Hehehehe. <laughs>